the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of... The Space Patrol. Brought to you by the Checkerboard Super Cereals. Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston. What is your name? Buzz Corey. Mine's Cadet Hatton. What is your rank? My rank would mean nothing to you. Tell me everything. Your name, rank, serial number, unit. Tell me the truth now. Stand by for exciting action on Space Patrol in just one moment. Hiya, gang. Space Patroller Jack Nars. Feast your eyes on this. A terrific new offer. A complete Space Patrol spaceophone set. Tell you in a second how to get it. Take a look. You get two spaceophones. Take a look, you get 50 feet of communication cord. Take a look, you get full instructions. Bright blue and yellow plastic. Looks exactly like the spaceophone Buzz Corey and the gang uses. Fun and how. Works just like a telephone. Yes, sir, you and a pal can talk back and forth on the spaceophone with 50 feet between you. What an invention. What a swell piece of equipment to play space patrol with. Look close. Pretty nifty, huh? Straight out of space patrol. Straight out of the fantastic world of tomorrow. Designed to fit the hands of boys and girls. Designed to help you be a real space patroller on Earth. So don't wait. Not a single day. Send for your space phone set now. Here's all you do. Buy a box of Instant Ralston. Then with your name and address, send 25 cents in coin and an Instant Ralston box top to Space Patrol. Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. This offer good only in continental United States and may be withdrawn at any time. That's Space Patrol, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. Across the vast black emptiness of space streaks Terra 5, flagship of the Space Patrol. Mission, an errand of mercy. Destination, 20th century Earth. Faster and faster the sleek battle cruiser goes, piling speed upon speed until it cracks the light barrier, exceeds the speed of light, crosses the timeline from the 30th century into the past, a hundred years, 500 years, a thousand years, to 20th century Earth. The cargo, full blood for the wounded of a war in the year 1952. Inside, as the star drive automatically cuts out, the three occupants begin to revive from the blackout period. Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol, Buzz Corey. Cadet Happy. And Tonga. What happened? Something wrong? Calibration error. Defective tube. You, you mean we didn't arrive in the 20th century on Earth? I don't know. Didn't we even cross the timeline, Commander? Oh, yes, we crossed the timeline, but the trouble is I don't know where we are or when it is. Well, Smoke and rockets, Commander. What about our cargo of whole blood? Well, the wounded in the war in 1952. What are we going to do, Commander? We're going to land and investigate. Fire rockets. Fire rockets. dark side of the planet, Commander, but well, it could be the planet Earth. See any lights from cities? Look, we just started. Smoke and rockets, Commander, we wound up right in the middle of a war. What are those lights, Commander? They're coming from below, they spotted us. We've got to get out of here. Commander, they're shooting at us. Well, scoring direct hits, too. Stand by the land. Safer down there than we are up here. We've got to find out where we are and correct that error. Stand by repeller ray. Standing by, sir. Hit repeller ray.
ship's well hidden in these trees. Yeah, that bombing must be several miles away, sir. Oh, far enough. Not a sign of a light. I'll go topside and take a look, Commander. Well, be careful, Tom. Of course. Come with me, Ham. Right, sir. We've got to find out what caused that error. Here we are. We're charter members of the Space Patrol Blood Boosters with a cargo of whole blood that could save a lot of lives, and we can't even deliver it. Well, we had several direct hits. Didn't seem to damage our hull. No, sir. The pressure alarm didn't sound anyway. We must be in a period. Weapons of extreme power haven't yet been developed. Well, it still doesn't narrow it down very much. No, it doesn't narrow it down, but... This does. Hey, must have blown out just in time to make us miss our destination. See, it's a 2310. I'll get another one, Commander. All right. Commander Corey to Tonga. Commander Corey to Tonga. Tonga here, Commander. What do you see up there? Well, I, I saw some kind of a light when I was up in the entrance hatch. When you were up? Mm. Well, where are you now? Did you leave the ship? Well, I was checking the light, Commander. I'm, I'm only about 100 yards away. Well, look, Tonga, we're placing a burned out tube in the star drive. You better come back right away. But I do see a light, Commander, about a quarter of a mile from here. Well, never mind that now. You shouldn't be out there alone. Come back aboard. I'm on my way, Commander. Tonga out. I'm down here, Hap. Uh, I replaced that tube, Commander. All the star drive instruments check out in good shape. Where's Tonga? Well, oh, Hap, I don't get it. She told me in the space phone that she was heading back to the ship. I'll wait here. All right. Find anything, sir? Yes. There's a light over there. Must be the one Tonga reported. Do you think she went to investigate it, sir? I don't know, Hap, but we are. Come on. Schauen Sie mal, was ich gefunden habe. Ah, sehr gut, Leutnant Schmidt, sehr gut. Und wo haben Sie das Freilein gefunden? Im Wald, wo ich am Dienst gewesen bin. Ah. Achtung, warum stehen Sie hier dumm Kopf? Heraus! Bitte, nehmen Sie Platz. Herr Major. Ja? Schauen Sie mal, was für ein Anzug ist das. Ich weiß nicht. Nehmen Sie vielleicht Englisch? Englisch! Englisch, komm her! Bringe was Tee und Biscuit, sofort! Zuerst wir essen, dann werden wir sprechen.
Say, I wanted to talk to you about Say, with this gun. Do you think that maybe, uh, I, you know, I was going to tell you about it, I think. He's wearing a Nazi uniform. Nazi? Yeah, a nation of aggressors trying to conquer Earth in the 20th century. Earth in the 20th century? Then, well, then we made our destination after all. We missed our time period by about 10 years. We've got to correct that after we find Tonga. Commander, they're treating her all right. So far, yes. Commander, in this war that they're having, did the Nazis win? Oh, they were defeated. It's too bad they don't know that. Maybe they wouldn't be so happy. So, because of that, I think it's time we got a few things straight. First of all, I don't speak your language. English shows that I'm not Let go of me! You understand what we will do to spies. Smoking rockets, Commander. Come on, Hat. Your name! Your rank! Your serial number, unit! Tell me everything, answer me! Answer me, us! What is that? A shot that's my Rata Salve. Ah! Tonga, are you all right? So far, Commander. Ah, oh, they are together. You are friends. How much did you tell them? Nothing. They wouldn't have believed me anyway. Remove her. We will interrogate them separately. The girl called you Commander, but this uh, uniform, I do not recognize it. No. No, of course you don't. That's because we're from, well, we're from someplace. All right. If you will not cooperate, we have means to make you talk. What is your name? Buzz Corey. Mine's Cadet Happy. What is your rank? My rank would mean nothing to you. What is your rank? Hey, easy there. Get him out of here. Oh. Lock him up. Now we will start all over again. What army are you with? I'm not with any army. Hey! Now, answer me. Your rank, name, unit, serial number. Everything. Don't try that again. Answer me. All right, I will, but you won't believe me. Try and see. I'm Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol. The what? The Space Patrol. We're from another planet. Another time period. It got mixed up in your war quite by accident. What kind of a ridiculous nonsense is this? Do you take me for a complete fool? You wouldn't like my answer to that either. Why don't you admit you are spies, all of you? Because we're not. Where is your... I told you the truth. I didn't expect you to believe me. Where is your parachute, Ethan? We didn't use parachutes. Oh, you must have bailed out. There are no landing strips around here. We landed by repeller ray. By what? Repeller ray. I told you to tell me the truth. I told you not to try that again. Get him out of here, lock him up!
Any way out of here? I don't think so, sir. I've looked over every inch of this thing. Oh, there is one loose stone over here, Commander, but it'll take a lot of digging to get it out, and we haven't got anything to dig with. Maybe we have. What do you... Belt buckles. Commander, that'll take forever. You better get started. You see? Even the guns are designed to fool us. But, Herr Mayor, what if they are telling the truth? Ah, impossible. What do you think would happen to me, or to both of us, if I were to report this to the Harish? We would be shot for madmen. There is only one thing to do. We will execute them in the morning. Isaac. Finish what you were doing. Well, don't just stand there like a don't cop. Move. Move by then. Move. He didn't move. I don't stop, Happy. No telling when they'll decide we've lived long enough. What's the matter with him? How should I know? I'm not a doctor. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, looks like somebody's been fooling around with our ray guns. What has it done to him? Oh, nothing much. It's just set on a light charge. He's temporarily paralyzed. He'll, he'll be all right after a while. What kind of a secret weapon is this? Secret? That's not a secret weapon. Everybody in the Space Patrol carries one. Oh. So you will insist that you are from another planet, that you are from the future, huh? Sure. Why not? It's the truth. All right. If you are from the future, answer me one question. What do you want to know? In what year are we going to win the war? I can't answer that. Yes, I thought. Because you're not going to win it. We are going to win, as we are superior. Our armies are but a short distance from Paris. In a short while, our troops will take over France. Then England. Then the United States. Then the whole world. Look, why don't you face it? This, this war is ancient history to us, and you're going to lose it, and there's nothing you can do. Oh, get him out of here. I will listen to no more of this. It's lying. It must be lying. I won't believe it. I won't! You can't I... give me a hand. I think I have a stone loose. We can move it. ship's ready, there's nothing we can do about it. But it's awfully close, Commander. I sure hope they don't get any closer. Well, they may have inferior weapons, but they're not inferior enough. Get 
Into that world. With the next issue then now, we won't wait till morning. You, Commander, come here. I will give you one more chance to tell the truth. Admit you are spy. Action! The truth, Commander! The truth for the body secret weapon! Hastings! Which are probably full of Nazis. The ship isn't far. We can run for it, Commander. Come on. And don't forget, you're going to lose this war. Made a final calculation to take us to our original destination. You know, Commander, I was just thinking, if those Nazis had believed us when we told them they were going to lose this war, they would have saved themselves a lot of trouble. Ten lives, Patton. Millions of lives were thrown away to stop the Nazi invaders. Smoking rockets. Millions. That ought to really teach the people of Earth a lesson. And I'll bet nobody else ever tried to start another war to try to conquer the Earth, either. No, it's a trap. You've forgotten our mission. Hey, that's right. Cargo of whole blood for the wounded of a war in the year 1952. Automatic pilot half, right street. Boys and girls, I need your help. As you know, the gang and I are on a special mission to Earth. A mission to help America wake up to this fact. America needs blood. Not only to help her wounded in Korea, but to help those at home, the victims of accidents, diseases, and sickness. Wouldn't you help people like this if you could? Well, you can. And here's how. Join the Space Patrol Blood Boosters. Now, some of us space patrollers, well, we're not old enough to really donate blood. But we are old enough. You have to be 18 or over to do that, but you are old enough to be a space patrol blood booster. Here's all you do. Every time you get a chance, you boost the importance of donating blood. You boost America's national blood. And you boost the American Red Cross by telling all your friends that the Red Cross is one of the places they can go if they want to donate blood. You urge people you know to donate blood. Tell them how important it is. How easy it is. Just ten minutes to save a life. And gang, when you do all that, that's when you're my boy and my girl. Start today. It's a lot of fun to help your country through Space Patrol Blood Boosters. Stand by for a preview of next week's exciting action immediately following this important message for all you Space Patrollers. Get that paper and pencil ready, gang. Here's the most exciting and thrilling, the greatest, the most terrific offer ever made on Space Patrol. Here it is, that marvel of the solar system, the Space Patrol Spaceophone, a brand new set made especially for use on Earth and complete, yes, complete with two Spaceophones, one for you, one for the person you're talking to. So, have you got that pencil and paper ready? I'm going to tell you how to get this great new Spaceophone set. Now, you get more than just two spaceophones, you get 50 feet of communication cord. Yes, sir, 50 feet. That means you can talk back and forth with someone standing on a straight 50 feet or more away from you. Works like a telephone. Voices come over loud and clear. But hold on, you get even more. Hold on, you get full instructions. Tells you how to have all kinds of fun with your spaceophone. Tells you how to talk to someone on the spaceophone even further away than 50 feet. And now, here's a word from your commander.
Boys and girls, when you play Space Patrol, you want real Space Patrol equipment. And that's what this is. The real thing. Something that gives you a thrill to use. Something that makes you feel like, a, like you're a real Space Patroller operating up here on Terra with me. Yes, sir, when you own this, you own the real McCoy. So, Space Patroller, send for yours right now. Here's what you get. Two spacophones, 50 feet of communication cord, and full instructions. And this is all you do. Buy a box of instant Ralston. Then, with your name and address, send 25 cents in coin and an instant Ralston box top to Space Patrol, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. Don't forget your 25 cents. That's Space Patrol, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> We have to get out of here before that hunk of machinery uh, comes back to life. Patty, get him to the feet. What's up, sir? Kemper was right. About what, sir? We have about four minutes to get into our spacesuits, get to our ship, and get to the surface of this ocean. The whole thing's gonna blow up. For the outcome of the dangerous situation in which Buzz and Happy find themselves, be sure to see Treachery Underwater next week on Space Patrol. <laughs> Originally telecast by ABC in Hollywood has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.